Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet. It is with pleasure I welcome the Honorable Ian Walker, MP, Minister for Science, Information Technology, Innovation and the Arts, Chief Conductor of the Queensland Symphony Orchestra, Maestro Johannes Fritsch, Chair of the Board of the QSO, Mr. Greg Wancha, members of the QSO Board, special guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sophie Gallaise, the CEO of the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. Thank you for joining us this morning. I would like to invite now the Minister, the Honorable Ian Walker, to the podium. Uh, thanks very much, Sophie. To Greg Wanchap, Chair of the Board of QSO. To Maestro Johannes Fritsch, uh, Chief Conductor of QSO. To you, Sophie Galais, uh, uh, the CEO of our um, Symphony Orchestra. And ladies and gentlemen, well, good morning to you all. I hope you're all curious about uh, the morning special announcement, which has been the stars are aligned never before, once only. So it's very intriguing because uh, this is really a special announcement today. So I'm glad you could be here, and I'm certainly thrilled to announce today that Queensland will be the only place on the planet to see international superstar physicist Brian Cox lead a journey through the cosmos with the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. This world first exclusive is the latest recipient of the Newman government's superstar funding. Journey through the cosmos is a great synergy of music, voice, science and film in an unforgettable, immersive experience. Journey Through the Cosmos includes a number of world premiere performances and lectures that will take place over four days, from the 6th to the 9th of November 2014. Now leading the journey will be international rock star particle physicist, Professor Brian Cox, the presenter of the global smash hit series, Wonders of the Universe. Journey Through the Cosmos includes a world premiere of the Voyager Violin Concerto by Oscar-winning film composer Dario Marianelli and performed by virtuoso violinist Jack Liebeck. Jack, of course, has performed previously with the orchestra and has been um, to the Australian Festival of Chamber Music a number of times. Journey Through the Cosmos features a full orchestral and choral performance of Gustav Holst's The Planet Suite with cosmic image projections created by Brian Cox as a star-studded backdrop. The production will take place here at QPAC and will include a live simulcast to regional venues throughout Queensland, with lectures, a recital and a dedicated schools program. With our superstar fund, a $3 million commitment over four years, the Queensland Government promised to bring international stars, in this case, uh, human as well as intergalactic stars uh, to our own backyard and this project certainly delivers on that uh, with what is a terrible pun a big bang <laughs> the project will also cultivate local talent and build local capacity and that's what the superstar uh, scheme is all about journey through the cosmos will be a major draw card in attracting interstate visitors and helping the Newman government achieve our goal of doubling overnight visitor expenditure by 2020. Journey Through the Cosmos joins other superstar projects, including the recent announcement of an exclusive production of Shakespeare's Macbeth, directed by internationally acclaimed Shakespearean superstar director Michael Attenborough, presented in March, April next year by Queensland Theatre Company in collaboration with the Grin and Tonic Theatre Group. And we're also looking forward to the Queensland Ballet's superstar production of an exclusive season of Romeo and Juliet, here at QPAC from the 27th of June to the 5th of July 2014, featuring internationally acclaimed dancers Tamara Rojo and Carlos Acosta. Each of these superstar projects helps to deliver our Arts for All Queenslanders strategy, to bring more great arts to more Queenslanders. So I'm certainly looking forward to the extraordinary spectacle we've announced today when it blasts into Brisbane in 2014. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Minister Walker. On behalf of the QSO, I must say this news is literally out of this world. We are so thrilled with your announcement. And now I would like to introduce our chief conductor, Maestro Johannes Fritsch, to say a few words. Johannes? Die Sonne tönt in alter Weise in Brutesphären Wettgesang. The sun in tunes in ancient tourney with brother spheres, a rival song. Johann Wolfgang Goethe in his famous drama Faust. It's an ancient belief that the cosmos makes music, that the planets make music, and the proportions between the intervals equals the proportions of the journey, of the journey the planets do around the sun. So I believe it's a wonderful idea to bring images, knowledge about the cosmos and the music together in this wonderful concert event we will experience next year. When you listen to Brian Cox, you are fascinated by the, by, uh, by the knowledge the scientists have nowadays about the past of the universe. One thing we don't know yet is what a new piece written by Marianelli will sound like, will bring. And this is something I'm very excited about. Always when we are about to perform a new written piece, today nobody, maybe not even the composer, knows what that piece will be. So we will all witness the birth of a new star, a little star, a star in the music world, a violin concerto by the famous composer Dario Marianelli. And I'm looking forward to create the performance of that new piece together with Jack Liebeck next year. Another part I'm very excited about is that I believe that concert is something for the whole family. I will definitely bring all our daughters, the youngest, five years old, ask me every week new questions about the stars and the moon. Last week she asked me if the moonlight is bad for the skin. <laughs> so, <laughs> wanting to know if there's something like moon screen, yeah? like sun, sunscreen when we go out in the, in the moon. So the, all of you who have children know that, know that the children ask more questions about the universe than about uh, probably um, human relations. Um, so I will bring the, ki uh, the kids and I'm sure that's a concert for everybody from young to very old because we will never end being curious about what's going on with the stars and in the universe. So I'm looking forward to the concert and I'm sure that will be a great, great event for Queensland and Australia. Thank you. Thank you, Johannes. And now please welcome the chair of the board of the Queensland Symphony Orchestra, Mr. Greg Wanshap. Good morning, and I'm sure there is a moon cream, Johannes. If there's not, we might do something about that. Uh, the Honourable Ian Walker, uh, Minister for Science, Information, Technology, Innovation, and Minister, if you will allow me, and most importantly, the arts. Our Chief Conductor, Maestro Johannes Fritz, my fellow board members, uh, Sophie, our new CEO, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and there is somebody else I would like to acknowledge here this morning, and that is the Chief Scientist of Queensland. Welcome, Jeff. Welcome very much. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, today's exciting announcement by our Minister launches this phenomenal event in November next year and more. Because this announcement enables the Queensland Symphony Orchestra to take a really giant leap forward on our bold journey of change and innovation. Uh, this year, this current year, has been a year of many events in your symphony orchestra. We moved to our new home, the wonderful ABC building, right next door to where we perform mostly here at QPAC. We have a new CEO all the way from Quebec. And as importantly, we have a newly determined focus that will see the QSO as an internationally recognised orchestra 
one that creates extraordinary musical experiences for all Queenslanders and beyond our borders. Today is just the beginning of our journey. We thank you, Minister. We thank your government for the generosity, for your ongoing support of your symphony orchestra, and particularly for this mighty boost from the Superstar Fund. It enables us to deliver a groundbreaking entertainment experience for all Australians with a real superstar. This guy is amazing. You know what will happen, Minister, in my opinion? There will be a dazzling light on Queensland in November next year. And it will clearly show the creative spirit of our performing arts organisations in this state. Thank you for being here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Greg. Let me encourage you all to log on to qso.com.au as soon as you get back to your office today. Join our waitlist so you can access tickets during the pre-sale period next month between November 12 and 14. Once tickets go on sale to the public on November 15, we expect a buying frenzy. <laughs> Professor Brian Cox sells out wherever he goes. So don't miss this great opportunity. Before we enjoy some refreshment, I would like to ex extend special thanks to the BBC for kindly providing the visual for this morning announcement. A warm thanks also to John Kotsa and the team here at QPAC for their significant support today. And so I invite you to join us in celebration of this morning's great announcement with a cosmic cocktail. Thank you. <laughs> 